Got the kayak all ready to go. All my crazy silly stuff here. <clears throat> Don't have a ton of time to fish. A couple hours really only. My daughter has a has a play. Her camp is putting on a play. I gotta leave here at like, eh, like 12 o'clock noon to go see the play. Right, but let's try and get a couple Lakers. Let's try and jig up a few Lakers. I want to put one or two in the cooler to bring them home, cook them in the smoker. Anything other than one or two is gonna get released. It is just about midsummer here. It's not as though these guys are gonna hit like crazy, probably. They're not in some sort of feeding frenzy mode, but it's not like you can't make it happen. Let's see, I'm gonna cruise along, get myself into what I believe is gonna be the proper depth for these fish. Let's see what I have on here. Kitech Easy Shiner, four inches, that's an alewife color, one ounce jig head. 10 pound fluorocarbon leader, 20 pound braid. That's about right. I also have same colors, a metal jig. That's a three quarter ounce. We got treble hooks on that one, trailer hooks on the rear. Trailer hooks are good and bad because when the fish is chasing it up vertically, if it takes a shot at it, it's not terribly likely to miss because that hook's right on the back of it. However, this lake has a bunch of zebra mussels on the bottom. Those hooks on the rear of the lure tend to collect mussels when the lure hits the bottom. This thing was cruising along at like 50, 60 feet. It might not be a laker. This could be some alternate. Oh, don't lose it, don't lose it. This could be something else, although it's fighting like a laker. It's probably a laker. There's my leader. What is this? It's a laker. Got him. Oh no, almost lost him. Got him, got him. He's got a lamprey on him. This fish was suspended like 50, 60 feet. Interesting. Let's get him out of here and get that lamprey off of him. I'm gonna keep this fish. Let's get my scissors. That's a big lamprey, dude. That thing is big. Did I lose that lamprey? Where'd he go? Oh, he's out. He's gonna get out the scupper hole. Don't let him get away. No, 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 no. You, that's a big one, dude. All right, he's toast. Got him. Big lamprey. I don't like to pick these things up. They kind of gross me out. This is lamprey, man. That's a big one. that he bent that hook you see that these are crappy hooks that I'm using I bought a bunch of them from Cabela's they're cheap I don't know it was like five or ten bucks for this like pack of like 25 or 50 or something I don't know it was a huge pack of them they work I mean they're very inexpensive but you get a good fish on one and that's what they'll do to it Another one ounce jig head. Hey, I'll stick with that color. Why not? Boom.
lake trout. Got a bunch of them. What is that? There's like eight fish down there. Oh, solid hit. Solid hit, dude. He hit it. He missed it. Let's give him another chance. See him? See the fish come up and go back down? This is, it's active here, man. It's really active. Surprised. More fish than I expected. More trout for the smoker. Char, rather. Lake trout is not actually a trout. It's a char different family of fish what's that some big fish just pulled some bs what did it just do what was that uh, nah, it saw it it doesn't care a lot more activity than i anticipated but well, by activity, I mean presence of fish. They're not really hitting well, although here's one that's on my bait right now. Checking it out. You can hit it? Nope. Just followed it. There's another one under him though. Oh, more, there's like two. Look at that. Let's see, maybe one of those ones wants it. Those look kind of like small fish. You never know though. Maybe they're not right under the cone. They're like at the outside of the transducer cone where they're not being picked up as well. They could be absolute behemoths which show up as sort of smaller marks. I just caught another one, good size one. It was an awesome fight too. He was peeling off a bunch of drag. I'm gonna keep him. Um, I already bonked him on the head. He's dead right now. Or at least he's knocked out. He's about to be dead. I'm pretty bummed I didn't get it on the camera. I just switched batteries and I had I put the camera on my head, but I forgot to switch it on. There's a fish after it, but it's little. Got him, got something. Come on, what is this? It feels like a lake trout, but who knows? Something good here. It's probably a laker, but. Hit pretty high up in the water column. It feels pretty lake trouty though. Strong fish.
Wow. Arm's getting tired. Let's see this fish. I really want to see it. I don't want to lose this thing. It's probably a lake trout, but it, it might not be. I don't know. Might be a pretty big one. I'm not sure. Really good fight on this fish though. There's my leader. It's a laker. Oh man, my net. It's a big ass laker. That's a big one, dude. Ah, got him, sick. He's still full of piss and vinegar. Excellent fight from that fish. I'm gonna let this fish go. Yikes, he's heavy. Some kind of scar on him. Big fish. Whoa, whoa, hold on, Laker. Hold on, hold on, I'll get you in the water in a moment. 29 inches. That's a big Laker, dude. Nice. All right, off you go. There he goes. All right, heading back in, out of time. Got a couple of lake trout to put in the smoker. Got one real big lake trout that we let go. Lots of other hits and misses. Uh, I had the camera off for one of the fish, which is a bummer, but what am I gonna do? Yeah, all those fish came vertically jigging with a one ounce jig head on a Kitek Easy Shiner in an Alewife color. Lots of fun. Glad I could share it with you. See you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.